I got the bio cube filled with vinegar and we're trying to cycle it around onto the main aquarium. So yesterday I had a coral emergency. It was so bad. If you notice, there is no more thermometer hanging over here. I was using my magnet cleaner to clean the glass. The metal instead of the thermometer just like shattered out, got sucked directly into the power head over here. And all of a sudden all these tiny little balls shot out all over the aquarium and I was like, is this mercury? Is this lead? Is this gonna kill everything in my tank immediately? But I looked online at my thermometer and it said that it was made out of iron and these tiny little iron balls were everywhere and I was like, how am I supposed to get this out? What I ended up doing was using a magnet and I just waved it around everything and it picked up quite a lot of little metal balls. I spent like three hours yesterday going over everything and I kept picking stuff up. I put it over the elegance coral and it picked up like 30 little balls. The sad thing is the elegance coral seems to be very, very angry with me. I really, really hope that it's gonna do okay because it's like my favorite piece in the aquarium. So other than that, I just did a really, really large water change. I don't even have a water test, so I have to go and get that today at the aquarium store. Other than that, check it out. Anyway, we're gonna go on a little hike. It's a beautiful day outside, so I think it would be bad if we just spent it indoors. You wanna go? Okay, let's go. Walking on the trail. I guess me. Oh. The ground is nice and cold. By Levi Stadium, which is where they had the Super Bowl this year, so that's kind of cool. I feel like I could have totally nine bought in this whole thing. I still have to practice with Gatsby though. <laughs> we made it to two miles. Levi Stadium right there. That was where the Super Bowl was. <laughs> Around this way and turn back and go on the trail on the opposite side. Turning onto this dirt road. This area reminds me of like Totoro. They had to like walk across this like road. We made it to the bridge, that'll take us back to the other side. Make him back home. You did a good job, Gatsby, over two and a half miles. Woo! Okay, now it's time to head back home. Right now, I'm gonna have to the gym, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, I got a nice back workout in. I'm gonna head back home, check on the aquarium. This elegance coral is really just not looking very happy. It's stressing me out a little bit, dude. So now I'm gonna head off to the aquarium store. The carbon in here is getting used up, I can tell, because the tank is looking a little bit more foggy. Hey, head inside. So you got these, Kemi Pure Elite, which is basically carbon. You gotta replace carbon once every three months. You gotta keep rinsing it until the water turns clear. There we go. I'll replace the bottom one. Okay. And that's how you replace carbon. I'm gonna head off to Target right now with my friend Sean. He needs to get a few things, I need to get a few things too. You guys always love when I go to Target, so I thought that I would take you guys along. Pinatas. I think you need to get one, Sean. You need this monkey one. Can you imagine hitting this? It's so easy. Smack the girls' faces. I'd rather get the giant monkey than the circle. <laughs> you can get a pinata stick. Five dollars for a stick? It's a decorated stick. <laughs> this is a little dangerous to hit. Is this Microsoft Windows? <laughs> <laughs> this is so creepy. Oh, BB-8. Oh, that's not a pinata. I want a BB-8 pinata. Come on. I think you need this, Sean. A felt jewelry kit. Oh, totally. Kid made modern. <laughs> nice. I think this is the weirdest thing. A glittered... A faux fauna. That is pretty weird. And it's all glittery. Okay, bring it with you. Super cool. My BFF YOLO. <laughs> Rock. These crayons have an app. 
Good dinosaur band-aids. <gasps> we gotta get these. Favorite movie of the year. I need good dinosaur everything. We gotta ask them for the good dinosaur cookie cutter. Ooh, yeah. Do you have one of those? No, I don't want a generic dinosaur cookie cutter. I want the good dinosaur one. I think he needs to get this alarm clock. Let it go. Yes. Let it go. <laughs> you need that. Let it go. You know, every morning you can wake up to this. It won't stop. No good dinosaur bags? Frozen? I don't want frozen. He found it! He found it! Oh, it opened. Oh, that, I need that. We're getting the last one. It's like a rare amiibo. Birthday girl, you've got that princess flair. Oh no, too much words. They have a Zootopia stuffed animal here. They don't have a good dinosaur one. I should get one for Gatsby. <laughs> See him sitting on I know, me too. Good dinosaur poster? No. Oh, there's a frozen poster. <laughs> oh, you need that. This does not count as good dinosaur. But you can get a fake security camera? Personal alarms. You can help fight breast cancer and be safe. Two in one. Yes. Is this a fake thermostat? <laughs> it kinda looks like it. Are these breast cancer tools? Oh my gosh. Oh look, Gatsby's toy, the wobble wag giggle. <laughs> I want good dinosaur Easter eggs. Yeah. Please, please, oh, please. Zootopia? No, not Zootopia. Frozen? I want good dinosaur. What's your favorite candy? Cadbury eggs. Oh. My favorite. My favorite is either Reese's or Sour Patch Kids. We gotta shop with these. <laughs> More no, 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 no. Easter eggs shaped like the Avengers heads. They have a Hello Kitty bat. That's to hit the piñata with. This is like so much swag right there. Come on. <laughs> with the Hello Kitty face at the top. Come on now. You can get a BB-8 kite. I need this. More Frozen. No! Get away Frozen. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. It's going in. It's going in. I hate this. It's so stupid. Board. Have you played it before with people? Never. Oh, I have. I believe it 100%. No, no, zero. The game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that sounds like the most fun thing in the entire world. Oh, yes. We have the mother load here. We gotta get it. Oh, and the read along book. Ugh. The unexpected grace rescue road. Sit, stay, speak. What the dog? Wow, we're in the dog section. So this is the dog section. Yeah. This is the dog section, and they have the Great Gatsby. They know what they're doing. We need to get it. <laughs> <laughs> the person who's checking us out will be like, what the hell? A Pikachu backpack. Look at that. You need to bring this to school. It's so small. A good dinosaur target haul. So we got our good dinosaur sticker book. BB-8. <laughs> Pikachu. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, that's it for us now. We're gonna head back home. <laughs> We're gonna go to Chipotle now. We're gonna do a Potle run. Oh, the line is long. Sean owns every single Pixar movie and he's already typing in the digital code. Best Pixar movie! Everyone, you must see. Can't you borrow the Blu-ray? I already have the... It's okay, I'm good. I, I didn't the like the movie. <laughs> Chipotle burrito bowl with chicken and rice and we got our chips and of course the Chipotle napkins. Okay, finally, we are going to siphon out all this water, this disgusting, Vinegar water, which is probably just pickling everything. It's gonna smell so terrible. I actually have a nice siphon pump now. Ugh, look at all that. Now I gotta scrape. Oh, it comes off so nicely. Look at that. Ooh. Excuse me. You? Okay, we got most of the water out. I scraped the back and all the vinegar and all the dead bacteria. We're gonna try to rinse it outside. I scraped it as much as I can. Just get back from rinsing it out, and now I'm using a scraper just to scrape out the rest of these things here. And there we go, it's all clean, for the most part. Super solid aquarium. That took a really long time to clean, but it's done. For the final thing for tonight, 
I thought that I would play for you some deleted footage. I used to do movie reviews all the time. Since the Oscars are coming up, a lot of you guys have been asking. I thought that I would do my top 10 movies of 2015. So check it out and I'll see you guys back here. So if you guys didn't know, I am a huge, huge movie fan. I watch pretty much every single movie. I even have a spreadsheet over here that I update every single year that has all the movies I've watched and my rating. So I thought that for today, I would just give you guys my top 10 movies of 2015 and bottom three movies. Let's start off the list at number 10, The Big Short. It's about the major housing collapse that took place in 2008. It felt like someone like edited this on iMovie. The good thing was that it did not take away from incredible storytelling. Number nine on my list, Inside Out. Pete Docter is one of my favorite Pixar directors. This one does not disappoint either. Number eight. The Martian. It was just very enjoyable. I really enjoyed the screenplay. Number seven, Ex Machina. The screenplay was incredible in this movie. Oscar Isaac, one of my favorite actors. He's playing with his brain. Number six, Spotlight. It feels like an anti-movie in the sense that it, it feels very real. So what really draws you in is the performances and the story being told. Especially Mark Ruffalo's performance was incredible. Number five, Steve Jobs. The performances and the dialogue were so well done. I sat through the movie going, I really love this. Number four, The Revenant. Filmmaking wise, I would have to say this was the best movie of the year. Everything about it seemed like it was like an impossible feat. My jaw was dropped the entire movie. Number three, Mad Max Fury Road. So crazy and so weird. George Miller is a mastermind. Number two, Star Wars The Force Awakens. I knew this movie would be really great because J.J. Abrams, who's like a big Star Wars fan and who I am a big fan of, was directing the movie. I had no worries at all. I was like, I know this is going to be incredible. And it was. My favorite movie of 2015 is Room. A mom and her son who are stuck inside of this tiny room which is like the size of an elevator and they have to live there for um, seven years. My heart was beating the whole movie. There is so much to think about. I just watched the movie in horror. It was personally my favorite movie of 2015. Let me list my bottom three movies of 2015. Of course, I try not to watch too many bad movies. The third worst movie I would have to give to Terminator Genesis. I have almost nothing to say. I would definitely say this was the worst Terminator movie. I actually even loved Terminator Salvation. Number two, Taken 3. I was a really big fan of the first Taken and even Taken 2. I would say Taken 3 was like pretty much like the worst. It seemed like it was made for like a straight to DVD release. The worst movie that I saw in 2015 was <gasps> Jupiter Ascending. The Wachowski Brothers. I tend to like their movies. This one I did not. It was delayed for like a year and it still came out really terribly. Those are the, my list of movies for 2015. In the comments below, put down your top list of favorite movies. Hey Gatsby. <laughs> You're cute. Yeah! Yeah! Okay guys, I'm getting ready to go to bed. So the elegance coral is still not really opening. It must be damaged or something. Now that Gatsby's two years old, he's a grown doggy. So he doesn't need to sleep inside of the kitchen anymore. He's not getting into anything. So, I'm gonna head to bed and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night! We are gonna be making Oreo stuffed chocolate chip cookies for the last recipe of the night. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. The first thing we're gonna do is add one cup of sugar. This is a lot of sugar. Two sticks of butter. The butter needs to be melted a little better. It looks like scrambled eggs. While we're waiting for this